Hey everybody, it's Buffy, Shark Bait Chick. Um, thank you so much for coming today and watching my video. Basically what we're going to be doing is I found out that there's a way to refill the La Baza cups that go to the Revo. This is for the Keurig. It's not a regular K cup, it's a lot shorter and they don't make a whole bunch of these. So I did a little bit of investigation and I found a way to actually refill them. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, I ordered refills, refill caps, I guess is a better way to say it. Uh, these are the caps that I ordered. They come in um, on a sheet, they're, they're stuck on here and basically what you do is you empty out the cup here I've already got one emptied out now it's still got the holes in it but they're very minimal so you can still reuse it and you can reuse it probably um, two or three times and I apologize for the pain in my hands I was in the studio earlier painting so um, but this is one that's already cleaned out. I am going to show you how I clean mine out. Um, you know, try to get the entire old cover off of the, uh, the cup. So what you're going to need to do this today is obviously you need the used Revo cups. I've got um, an Intenso here. I've got a decaf. And then I have one that we actually already created and refilled. And this is how it ends up looking. And as you can see, it just adds some extra holes in the bottom. So we're going to use this one one more time. I'm, I usually recycle mine twice. So I'm going to show you how to do that. There's a couple different ways to tamp it down. And there's a couple different things to fill it up with. Now, when I did the research online, it did say that... Um, you definitely need to use some sort of very fine ground espresso. So, um, I found this Cuban espresso. It's it's really good. I, I'm we live in Florida now, and I'm a big huge fan of Cafe con leche now. So, uh, this is one of the ones that I've been using to refill it. Also, I buy this Pilon. It is extremely tasty. I love I love Pilon and I just got an, a new bag of it. So the Bustello I got because I couldn't find the Pilon. <laughs> so I do have both. But for today's demonstration, we are gonna go ahead, because the Bustello is open, we're gonna go ahead and use the Cafe Bustello. Um, it is espresso ground coffee. Um, that is definitely what you need to use to refill your Keurig Revo smaller cups, the Lavazza cups. Okay, so we're going to just set all this aside. So first thing I'm going to show you is how to remove this. Now, obviously, this is a paring knife. Um, it's not that hard to remove. When I, what I do is I just start around the edges. It's a little bit of elbow grease, a little bit of work. But once you get it started, and you get a little section free. Basically, it just peels away. The whole thing will just peel right off. It's so easy to take off. Then what I do is um, I actually just put this in a container and I use it in my garden. So I'm recycling the, the grounds from the old Lavaza cup. So once you dump this out, you rinse it really well, you um, let it air dry, it ends up looking like this. So I'll set this one aside. So since this one's already cleaned out, um, I'll go ahead and refill this one, but I just want to re-demonstrate the removal of the foil seal for you again. So we'll go ahead and we'll do a decaf one. And it's just like um, pairing a, a difficult or skinning a, a difficult vegetable, I guess. It's not, it's not really hard to do. It makes a little bit of a mess, but 
the money that you save refilling these on your own is phenomenal because um, the Lavazza cups, even if you can find them, typically I get them at um, oops, Bed Bath & Beyond. Sorry about the noise. I get them at Bed Bath & Beyond and with the 20% off coupon, uh, it's it's like $15.97 or $14.97 per box. And then you get the, the percentage off. So there, that, that one's off. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to peel the rest of this foil off with the knife. Let me dump this out. Make it easier. It will restick with a little bit of the foil on there. So you don't have to be as particular to try to get it off of there. If it's really, really tough, you know, you don't want to destroy the integrity of the cup. So, you know, you can end up squishing it. So we'll go ahead and we'll just leave that little bit on there. It'll be just fine. So here's one of the ones that we already um, refilled and used with the, with the new foil. I'm thinking this possibly will come off a little bit easier than the other ones, but I don't know. This is the first time I've actually refilled one of the ones that we've already recycled. My husband usually uh, has been the one that's been doing this, actually. Yeah, this is coming off real easy. Real easy. There we go. Just peeled right off. There we go. Came right off. So I'm just going to clean this, uh, clean this area up a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to refill a couple of cups that we already had that were cleaned out. These are the ones uh, that my husband had taken all the coffee out of and cleaned up and dried. Um, he didn't get all the the foil off, but it's no big deal. Like I said, you don't have to have all the foil off of there. So we're going to do three of those. Alright, so I've cleaned up the area and I have my cups ready here. One of the important things about doing this is being able to tamp the coffee into, you know, compressing it into the cup. So there's a couple of different ways to do that. I actually have a, a few things that I'm going to try to use to see how they work. First I have a miniature solo cup. <laughs> Somebody gave these to me as a novelty, um, I think for Christmas and it's just so cute. I'm going to try to use that because it it seems to work well enough in here. So it just needs to be something that's going to fit inside and tamp down. Ideally you want it to fit as well as possible around the outside edge, um, but you don't want anything coming up too high on the sides because then you're not going to get a good seal with your with your foil. The other thing I'm using is just a traditional regular coffee scoop. So to tamp that down, that has a little bit better coverage than the solo cup, but I wanted to try a couple different things. I mean, you could use a shot glass, you could use um, a spoon, you know, a small spoon and just push it down. But I wanted to use this because it has a little bit of depth to it and see how that, how that goes. So we're just going to put it in there and tamp it down. All right. And I'll probably make a mess. <laughs> so. I'm going to use the Cafe Bastola, like I said, today and refill this. And yes, I have my paint shirt on, so I've got paint all over me. Also, if you're using the scoop, it's good because you can go ahead and 
just scoop it out with it and then tamp it down. So we're going to try the scoop first. There we go. And just lightly depressing it and tamping it down. Now one full scoop looks like it's just a little a little too much. So I'm going to go ahead and just brush this off into, well try to brush it back into the, into the bag. So it's got a nice smooth clean edge just kind of push some of it down in here. We tamp it. There we go. Okay. Now again, these are the foils that I ordered online. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for them. I think it was probably, um, I want to say somewhere in like around $15 or something, but it was for a hundred. So you get a pack like this of a hundred of them. There's, um, there's 10, there's 10 per page. So you get 10 pages of these and they're called foil seals to reuse Lavaza blue. And it's model number X triple zero L like Larry D like David eight Q like Qbert five D like December. So I believe they, I believe you can get them on Amazon. I think that's where we got them from is Amazon because that's where we've been ordering the coffee from lately. And of course, I think you can get them from this website, mycat.com. And it's www, I'm sorry, www.my-capcap.com. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel one of these off of here. And it comes off really, really easy. It's not super duper sticky, but it's sticky around the edges. I don't know if you can see it, but basically there's like a plastic liner around it. That's where the sticky part is. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just seal this up. I start on one side, get it as, as aligned as possible on the edge, and I dropped it. Okay, great. <laughs> just make sure it's all in there. Okay. I'm just going to push it down. There we go. Now we have a brand new cup. A little bit will leak out of the bottom. It's just a minuscule amount. Um, but this is an awesome time saving, money saving way to get new Lavaza cups filled instead of, you know, if you're running low and you, you don't want to order any or maybe your money's not where it needs to be or whatever it is. This is just a good efficient way to um, refill them on your own so you have an alternative. They do not have currently any kind of filter for the Lavaza Revo by Keurig. Um, I have seen where uh, there's some discussion about coming out with one, but they don't have one yet. So we're going to go ahead and fill one more of these and hopefully I don't drop that one. This time we're going to use the one that has all the foil removed from it. I'm going to scoop again, but I'm not going to scoop as much in there. I really just don't have any extra. Okay. Just going to tip it down. All right, and I'm going to try to use the, the Solo Cup on this one. Just because I can get right, right to the edges on that tamp it down. And that worked okay. I think I actually like the um, scoop a little bit better. 
This seems to get it in tighter, then you can bounce it around a little and get closer to the edges. So, I mean, really, you can use probably anything that would fit in here really well. But there we go. It's nice and tamping down. Let's do our cover. There we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> well, I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to Sharkbait Studio channel on YouTube. Please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, um, please definitely comment below and um, I'll get back to you. Really appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and put all the information below the post. So uh, I hope you love your Revo as much as we do and I hope you enjoy this cool way to refill your own Lavazza Revo cups. Have a great day. See you next time.